Good afternoon to my viewers in Europe and good early morning to my viewers in the Western Hemisphere. So I usually don't release videos at this time. However, this is important news and I want to get it out as rapidly as possible. China is at it again. A pair of side boosters from a Long March 3B rocket have apparently crashed into a populated region in the Guangxi province downrange from the Xichang Chang launch site in the Sichuan province, and I probably mispronounced a lot of that, but in any event, you get the idea. This sort of thing has happened many times because China values secrecy over the safety of their citizens. Footage was captured by locals present on the site and circulated on Chinese social media site Weibo, and it revealed one booster plummeting and exploding in a wooded area which you saw and another video captured a falling booster and subsequent wreckage near somebody's home. As most of you probably know, this is not the first time China has had these problems. China has had a long history of launching rockets that go off course or boosters that simply don't land in the place that they were anticipated to land and populated regions are put at risk. The most significant of these issues took place when an Intel Sat 708 satellite was launched by a Long March 3B rocket back in 1996. That rocket went woefully off course and crashed directly into a Chinese village, killing at least six people. Because there were so many American companies involved in this mission and involved in the overall contract, it created a great deal of controversy back in the United States and a substantial investigation. Now, the Long March 3B began to perform far more efficiently after that and didn't have another problem until 2011. Now, to be fair, China has recently introduced a policy of installing parachute-assisted landing systems on the Long March 3B rockets that launch inland to try to minimize the danger represented to the civilian population. This has proven to be a fairly effective system with the primary booster landing safely a number of times since 2020. However, that being the case, the side boosters do not seem to have this landing system. So the side boosters, which are absolutely loaded with toxic chemicals, are still vulnerable to these sorts of crashes and can come down in populated regions where you least expect them. China continues to follow these sorts of policies sees regardless of the danger to their own citizens. Now, it's not just the crash, not just the fireball that presents a danger to the civilian population. As I said before, these rockets are absolutely loaded with toxic chemicals. In this particular footage, you're going to see the release of a reddish brown gas, which by the way accompanied the most recent crash as well. This is likely nitrogen tetroxide. There's also a yellowish gas possibly due to unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine fuel mingling with the air. Both of these chemicals are dangerous indeed. Now, strangely, a number of news agencies have reported that this is actually a Long March 11 rocket that was launched from a sea-based platform, but that simply isn't true, and there's probably some sort of confusion. This unquestionably was a land-launched Long March 3B rocket, and just the latest mishap in a series of accidents that have taken place as a result of China's policy of launching inland overpopulated 
areas. Even the Soviet Union was never this irresponsible, launching over completely uninhabited regions of Kazakhstan with no incidents, at least as far as I know, ever resulting in the destruction of property or loss of life, except perhaps in the early days of the program. China stands alone as the one country that heedlessly and recklessly launches these kinds of rockets directly over populated regions. One of the major reasons, of course, that NASA and SpaceX, for that matter, make sure that they launch their rockets safely on the coastline. I will keep you up to date on this issue. By the way, this video is probably going to get flagged by YouTube for content, so if you'd like to support this channel and keep this kind of news coming, Coming. Well, all the details are in the description, and as always, stay angry about space.